Yes. Yeah, this is a fig, but it is a wild fig. Because mm. fruits which come from it are not eaten, these fruits are mostly enjoyed by the birds. To okay. humans, they are toxic, but to birds, they don't have problem. Ah. Yeah. So we use an expert to peel off its outer skin. The reason that's why you use an expert that any mistake done, you can kill the whole tree. So you have to be more extra careful when you're peeling off the skin. You have to use a knife. It is even advisable that the knife shouldn't be very sharp. You peel off the skin as you see up to the bottom. Then you take off the skin. Afterwards, you have to dress this tree using banana leaves and fibers. It's like you're giving it a bandage so that, so that it can heal. This tree takes like eight months to recover and the process is continuous. So the peel of skin is laid down on a wooden beam and beaten using a mallet or a wooden hammer to remove all the water content and the sap from it. The more you beat it, the more it expands. Then afterwards, you lay it in the sun. When you smoke it on fire, it's when you get the bark cloth fabric. This bark cloth was the ancient clothing for the people of Bogana before cotton arrived in Africa. You can come inside and have a look. called a mallet if you don't call it a mallet you can call it a wooden hammer wooden hammer yeah it is what we use to beat the skin when it's still fresh so we have different mallets in Lugana it is in Samo in each Samo. mallet has different grooves each mallet has a role to play in the manufacture of this cloth this is also from the tree though the manufacture is not complete you lay it down on a wooden beam and have it malleted. This takes some hours. Actually, it needs patience. It can cost you like seven hours. Mm. Then afterwards, you lay it in the sun. When you smoke it on fire, this will be the final product. It's called the bark cloth fabric. It was the ancient clothing for the people of the kingdom before cotton arrived. The kingdom has had 36 kings. On the reign of King Chimera, we saw this. This was when, uh, it's how books say, on the reign of King Chimera, is when we innovated this in Buganda. So, uh, when the missionaries introduced cotton, missionaries ill preached this. They made people to hate it so that people can grow cotton. They, Actually, they, so like they're advertising for cotton. Yeah, they branded this to be satanic and backward. When you find some people, up to date when somebody finds you with this calls you a witch doctor that you deal in witchcraft <laughs> yeah though at times also witch doctors use them because they are the ancient clothing they are they the traditional ones yeah they, were, they are the traditional ones but uh, in 2005 the world UNESCO heritage organization ranked this as an innovative intangible fabric it made it to be an international product whereby it is still exported to countries like Germany Whoever hosted here was an engineer from Germany. He took me through today how they make a cushion of a Mercedes Benz using this. What? A cushion, the interior part of the Mercedes oh. Benz. Mm. They use this. Even people who make the Rolls Royce today, that limousine, they use this as a cushion. Today in the culture, we mummify our beloved ones in the same material because it is a very good absorber takes out all the water content from the body and the body remains dry in the ground for some good period. When you burn it around your home, it is a good mosquito repellent. This material, the back cloth. So today for quality addition, we make art, we make paintings from different compositions. Many, many from the wildlife, the local world living in the society and so forth. We do sell them to our visitors who come here. Especially visitors from Europe. Most of them are travelers, that's why we do not frame them. We roll it for you for easy transportation. How about the visitors from within? From within? <laughs> the visitors from within, most of them, they don't have that much art. art. <laughs> but those who have most love for art, they come from Europe. And how much is one? Uh, the bigger the piece, the bigger the price. A smallest piece is at 50,000 and above. Oh. Actually, I'm the one who makes these. Yeah, fifty thousand. So you are, you are the best in art. I'm not the best because me I make symbols mostly. I didn't, we are different artists. You make symbols and there is someone who paints. Yeah, uh, 
I make like this one is just a symbol of a woman maybe carrying something in the head, mm. fruits like that. Yeah, the banana harvest. Okay. Yeah, it's not so much detailed art. Maybe yeah. this one is somehow detailed of the birds. Yeah, and then the abstract something. So there are different different artists. So this is how we how we improve the value of the background. Yeah. We add on more value of the backlog by making painting such art. So we roll it for you. When you take it home, you unroll it, then you iron it at the back very well. You have to iron it without steam. This material is very durable. Its biggest enemy is water. Since it's a plant, water affects it so much. You can frame it and pin it where you want it to be. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, we just establish it for the local game the african chess the african mankala game Omoeso. yeah Omoeso. so it is it uh enabled the people of the kingdom to, ha to learn how to calculate very fast mathematically and to solve problems so the bids are not enough you get a challenge of school children they steal them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I always <laughs> say school children. They, uh, maybe when they are look, they look funny to them. They play with them almost. Oh, oh. Yeah, but there is a certain tree where we get them. These beads. Okay. Yeah, it is played with two people. One the other side and one this side with sixty-four beads. You move anti-clockwise. You drop a single single bead in each hole. Like this. No, oh, anti-clockwise is like oh, this. Oh. Yeah. You drop a single single bead in each hole. And the trick is when I drop my last bead here and my opponent holds both of them have beads, I capture them and I take them to my side. So uh, the, uh, the one who has won, I make sure that my opponent has less beads than mine. The more the beads, the... Yeah, I've defeated you. So it has tricks of winning, tricks of making somebody lose it. Sti stimulates somebody's brain how so to it's a it. game of mind yeah uh in the ancient tradition women were not allowed to play this this game was for only men we are not even allowed to eat chicken yeah women yeah women uh we are mostly all the be all the best things were not for women <laughs> yeah <laughs> but nowadays yeah due to the woman emancipation they are loud. Mm. Yeah. Hey, hey. So we have we have a school. No. Uh, no, it's a school? Yeah. Yeah, it's a school. Maybe they are going to tour around. So that's it for today. Yeah, that's what we have here maybe. Oh thanks a lot for the good job done. Maybe it may inspire more people to visit. Yeah. And do explore. The history so guys uh, i'm gonna end this video here but see you in the next one